Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about factor price equalization theory. This theory is given by Paul A. Samuelson in 1948. And this theory basically states that free trade make factor price equal in those countries which are doing trade with each other. This theory basically states that free trade make factor price equal in those countries which are doing trade with each other. Each other. As we know, there are mainly two factors of production, labor and capital. Price of labor is wage and price of capital is interest rate. And according to this theory, in free trade, all workers receive same wage rate and all capital receive same interest rate in those countries which are doing trade with each other. Now we understand this theory with the help of this diagram. Here we assume we have two countries A and B. A have labor in abundance but scarcity of capital. On the other hand, B have capital in abundance but scarcity of labor. And we have two goods X and Y. X is labor intensive goods. In production of X, we use labor in larger amount. Y is capital intensive goods. In production of Y, we use capital in larger amount. In this diagram on X axis, we have relative factor price. W is wage rate, R is interest rate. And Y axis, we have relative price of final goods. Before trade, equal equilibrium point of country A C. Before trade equilibrium point of country A C. And before trade wage rate are very low in country A because wage rate is price of labor and country A is labor abundant country. If price of uh, uh, labor is low that's why price of labor intensive good X also low. This part Px over Py a represent price of x good in country A. Now we are going to talk about country B. Country before trade equilibrium point of country B is D. As we know, country B have a scarcity of labor. That's why before trade, wage rate are very high in country B. If wage rate high, that's why labor price of labor intensive goods X also high in country B. This PX over PYB represent price of X good in country B. Now suppose international trade start. As international trade start, country A increase the production of labor intensive goods X but reduce the production of capital intensive goods Y because country A has abundant of labor and scarcity of capital. As country A increase the production of X means country A increase the demand of labor. As labor demand increase, wage rate also increase. So in country A, wage rate increase from W over R 1 to W. W over R star. So in country A, after trade, wage rate has increased. As wage rate increase, price of labor intensive good X also increase. So country A, after trade, reach at this E equilibrium point where wage rate and price of X good has increased. Now we are going to talk about country B. Country B, uh, after trade, increase the production of capital intensive goods Y, but reduce the production of labor intensive goods X because country B have abundant of capital and scarcity of labor. As country B reduce the production of X means country B reduce the demand of labor. As labor demand reduce, wage rate also reduce in country B. So in country B, wage rate reduce from W over R2 to W over R star. As wage rate reduce, price of labor intensive goods X also reduce from PX over Y to PX over Y star. So country B also reach at this E point. You can see after trade, both country A and B reach at this E equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, wage rate are equal in both country. So before trade, wage rate was low in country A, but was high in country B. But after trade, wage rate increase in country A, but fall in country B. As a result, at E point, wage rate become equal in both countries. So we can say that according to this theorem, free trade make factor price equal in those countries which are doing trade with each other. Now we understand this theorem with the help of this Edgeworth box diagram. Here we assume we have two countries A and B. A have labor in abundance but scarcity of capital. On the other hand, B have capital in abundance but scarcity of labor. And we have two goods X and Y. X is labor intensive goods, Y is capital intensive goods. In this box on horizontal side A, B and C, D, we take good X and on vertical side F, E and G, A, we take a good Y. So box A, B, C, D. Box A, 
बी सी डी रिप्रेजेंट अवर कंट्री ए सो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर्व ऑफ कंट्री ए इज ए सी दिस रेड वन P0, P0 is price line and before trade equilibrium of country A is R. And you can see here this A R line represent capital labor ratio in production of X. Means how much capital we are employing on each unit of labor in production of X is represented by this R point. And this R C represent capital labor ratio in production of Y. So Edgeworth box diagram A E G F represent country B. A E G F represent country B. And contract curve of country B is this one, red one. A F. And before trade equilibrium point of country A is T. And capital labor ratio production of X in country B is A T. And capital labor ratio production of Y in country B is T F. Now suppose international trade start. and after trade equilibrium point of country a is s and capital labor ratio for good x is a s and before trade capital labor ratio for good x was a r you can see a s line is bigger than a r line that means after trade country a has increased the production of labor intensive good x and after trade capital labor ratio for good y is sc before trade it was rc you can see rc is bigger than sc that means after trade country has reduced the production of capital intensive goods y if country a is continue increasing production of labor intensive goods as a result demand for labor increase as demand for labor increase wage rate increase if wage rate are continue increasing then after certain time period country start using more capital in place of labor or we can say that after certain time period country start using more machinery in place of labor now we are going to talk about country b after trade equilibrium point of country b is n you can see here capital labor ratio for good x in country b is a n before trade it was a t you can see at is bigger than an that means after trade country b has reduced the production of good x which is labor intensive goods because country b have scarcity of labor and capital labor ratio for good y after trade is uh, n f and before trade it was t f you can see nf is bigger than tf that means after trade country b has increased the production of capital intensive goods why because country b have abundant of capital if country b continue increasing production of capital intensive goods why as a result demand for capital increase as demand for capital increase interest rate will also increase if interest rate is continuous increasing and after certain time period country will use more labor in place of capital or we can say that after certain time period country will use more machineries in place of labor so here we see before trade price of labor is low in country a but very high in country b after trade country a increase the demand of labor but country b reduce the demand of labor as a result wage rate increase in country a but fall in country b after certain time period wage rate become equal in both country same way before trade price of capital is very high in country a but very low in country b and after trade country a reduce the demand of capital but country b increase the demand of capital as a result interest rate fall in country a but increase in country b after certain time period interest rate will become equal in both countries if same situation we will see with the help of this diagram n is after trade point of country b and p1 p1 is factor price line of country b and s is after trade point of country a and p1 p1 is factor price line of country a you can see slope of this p1 p1 line is exactly same which represent factor price in both countries are same means wage and interest rate are same in both countries second thing you can see this n and s point are in same line which represent factor price in both countries are same and this is our factor equalization theorem which state free trade make factor price equal in those countries which are doing trade with each other this is all about factor equalization theory i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care